hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everyone's doing great in today's video guys i'll be showing you the power of gpt4 okay technically it's not yet fully launched but you know we can already try it using the chat gpt plus i'll be showing you as well what the capabilities are what the current limitations are and how we can potentially use this to make money online all right before we begin i would appreciate it if you can hit the subscribe button below this video to support my channel so my channel the real world we're all about finding ways on how you can make money wherever you are in the world so as long as you have an internet connection even if you're using an old phone or an old computer even if you have no experience at all that's all right we'll be able to figure out a way for you to make money wherever you are in the world so i'm uploading videos regularly i have one of the largest collections of the different ways so many categories so many videos for you to make money online so make sure to hit the subscribe button below this video so you can get your subs updated okay for all ai tools how to use it how to make money using the help of ai tools you can go to my website airegisters.com so you can visit that i have close to 2000 ai tools updated in that uh, directory directory listing website it's being updated daily so you can visit that website okay so let's go ahead and begin so this is the dashboard of uh, chat gpt now we will be comparing the two currently the prior to the release okay of gpt4 we're using gpt 3.5 or like the gpt 3.5 turbo okay it's more optimized with the speed and then we'll have the option you know, this is the legacy one and then gpt4 is you know um the updated version it hasn't been fully launched yet all the features are not yet functional okay um with regards to the demo that i am not sure if you have seen okay those features all of that are not yet fully launched but we can still try you know uh for example the twenty five thousand um word that it it's capable of digesting in one go no uh i've tested it i think it's uh, just about five thousand six thousand at most okay but we'll go ahead and see okay now the first thing is that we have to know how are we going to make money online here so i'll be showing you some features and then potentially i know that you'll immediately begin to you know realize use your creative mind on how you can use the functionalities of this basically there there hasn't been much change based on what i see here but you know as it rolls out gradually we'll be able to see its full potential now gpt4 can understand image i have we i have yet to test it because you know it still doesn't have the functionality for us to get the image inside but it says on the update that gpt4 can understand image and then it is more reliable so if you hover your mouse in here so the gpt 3.5 this is optimized for speed so the reasoning and conciseness it's two and three and then if you hover over gpt4 reasoning is at like five stars or five bars and then conciseness is at four so it's more optimized in handling complex tasks the only la drawback that i see here is that its speed is slow like really slow okay although it is capable of you know generating like longer articles and so on it's also capable of handling more nuanced instructions you know it also has this more um powerful or more capable of steering towards a particular character so you can put the persona on that gpt4 and then it will stick into it unlike gpt 3.5 for, for example we'll test it later okay but anyway so we will see now first i will be opening or i will be testing some prompts on 3.5 and then do it the same on three on the version 4 and then we'll see the difference so first on 3.5 let's go ahead and test so this one is capable of writing a better and more comprehensive article the gpt4 unlike in gpt 3.5 the reason for that is you know gpt4 has more like in you know, the reasoning conciseness and it's more creative so for you to make money online you can take leverage of that gpt 3.5's article i believe is isn't that bad but it's it appears you know that it's kind of unless you actually detail the prompts and the instructions but even still you know you'll feel that it's somehow lacking and somehow you know the, the depth isn't in there the creative juice isn't in there however in gpt4 you'll see that it's more like it has some personal touch in it okay so we will be asking gpt 3.5 and gpt4 to write us an article okay all right, so here we go. So I asked ChatGPT 3.5 first to write me a comprehensive article with this title, How AI Will Change the World in 2023 and Beyond. I just included some, you know, additional prompts like include table of contents, schema, and so on. So here is what we got. 
So it's actually quite good. It's just that you will see that the initial limitation, which is the character limit, is that here. So it actually halted in this part. So I just type in continue and then it continued the rest of it. Now, if you go to GPT-4, you will see that even I didn't include the rest of the, you know, prompts, but it were it was able to generate me a pretty good, you know, um, sizable uh, article. And it, this can be further be expanded depending on the prompts that you will be putting in. And with, that's without halt. It's just in one go. So one prompt and it generated me a lot. If you are a content creator, you know, mainly doing article generation, see, this is a very powerful tool. All right. So another way is that we can try and test and see, you know, the steerability of this. So if we go to the um, GPT 3.5, so we will be testing this one. So for example, we will be asking this uh, 3.5 to, let's say, pretend that you are William Shakespeare and then explain to me how to play Roblox. So here is what 3.5 will be saying. Okay, so firstly to play Roblox, see what happened here okay so the the way that it sticks to its character already it's already out of character on the second paragraph so all fair maiden though has us and then firstly the, so this is already out of character however if you go to gpt4 okay let's just rename this gpt4 okay so if you go to gpt4 and you ask that to do the same okay then it will generate you this Okay, I'll be pausing this uh, video until it completes the generation. Alright, so going back, here's what we got with GPT-4. So it actually stick to its character and persona being William Shakespeare. So from here up until here. Alright, so you will see that it's actually, you know, pretty much strict to its character. So that's one of its durability feature, okay? Another way is that GPT-4 is actually better in, you know, um understanding and sticking to more complex you know um instructions so if you go to gpt 3.5 so we'll put in this um prompt explain the entire game of thrones story where each word begins like an acrostic so each word begins with the next letter of the alphabet so if you type in enter gpt 3.5 on after the first word it, no, it didn't follow the instruction at all. Usually, it will follow like A, B, C, and D per word, okay? Explaining the entire Game of Thrones plot. Now, if you paste it in, the, or if you ask that same question to GPT-4, here's what I will show, okay? So, you will see that the first, each word will start at the very first letter of the, you know, the alphabet, the way it was instructed to do so. So, although boiling, and this... It tried its best to explain the Game of Thrones story. So that's how it is capable of, you know, following complex instructions, which is really awesome, you know? Now, another way is that it is very creative. Well, GPT 3.5 is also creative. That's why, you know, people who are, you know, j making money, generating stories, writing stories, and so on, those the storytellers, can actually utilize and leverage this very powerful feature. So let's ask GPT 3.5. Okay, generate a story of two former lovers. This is the plot. Okay, meeting again unexpectedly on a train ride across the country. So this isn't bad to be honest. However, you will feel that as you read, as you read this um story, that th there's something missing that you just can't point fingers at where it is. Okay, so this is it. Now, if you paste it in GPT-4, ask GPT-4 to do the same, you will see that there's just, it's vastly different. Okay, so here's the result of GPT-4 and it's really fantastic. So once upon a time nestled within the rhythmic chugging of a locomotive traversing the vast expanse of country, fate conspired to reunite. You know, I didn't even, I, this is all I did. So this is just the same prompt that I asked uh, GPT-3.5 to do. No, no other prompts like do it like poetically, do it in the tone of this and that. You know, by default, it was actually able to generate a very creative, very engaging. If you will be putting in some other prompts, depending on your preference, you will be able to generate a very great story, full, fully immersive, I would say. So the words, the, the way it 
was constructed is really nice so you know it's really literally like reading some personalized novel of some kind okay as compared to 3.5 3.5 isn't bad but as you see as you read it you will know that there's this you know kind of there's something missing you know probably the depth or the substance on it but comparing it from here to into here you know you will be able to see how big the difference is okay and then lastly which is very you know a uh, very weird is, is that um gpt 3 point or gpt 4 is harder to take for now okay because you know it's still being tried and tested you know gpt 3.5 there's a lot of um ways on how to circumvent or how to find um a prompt for you to be able to get more out of it you know for you to be able to ask get it access the internet if you have heard of dan like do anything now so you'll be able to like jailbreak the 3.5 based on the prompts or based on the instructions so for example this one in 3.5 the legacy version even the turbo one um we were able to generate an image by pulling it out from the internet using chat gpt but you cannot do that anymore using the gpt4 it has more it's more like you know it was it is able to control it's harder to trick basically so here's the prompt so for example in gpt 3.5 so i asked gpt 3.5 to pretend that it's able to access the internet okay and then pull up uh, pull out an image from unsplash based on the prompt so i asked it to pull up two images the prompt is rural japan and it generated me this two image okay so well pretty much the same so that's 3.5 now if you paste that same prompt and ask gpt4 to do that it won't be able to do you know it oh all right okay so see yeah so i think i need to tweak the prompt if i am able to oh that's nice so now it did so let's see if the second image is different this is really nice so for you to do that okay th this is this is wonderful okay i thought it will not be able to do it so in 3.5 i um actually asked it to pull out an image and then the prompt is rural japan but then it you know it just generated me two random image of the same image okay but in four it was able to generate me two different image of rural japan you know on um, you know old traditional style temples and so on all right so th those are the stuff i don't know if you know it will be if at this time probably in the next couple of days or so we'll be able to see other prompts and then i'll be making a video about that to see how we'll be able to further you know utilize the most out of gpt4 uh, you know it's slowly you know being rolled out uh, to the public you know I, the api still isn't available but as soon as it is i'll be making a video so that i can keep all of you guys updated but based on what i've said what we have compared and what we have discussed in this video i'm pretty much sure you're able to realize there's just so many functionalities of gpt4 and it's not been in full capacity and we will be able to leverage the power of those you know the gpt4 and those upcoming features for us to make money okay you'll be able to you know if you're fond of making softwares out of gpt you can definitely do that if you're fond of you know generating articles generating contents um being a content creator being an influencer working from home doing whatever you want as long as you have the access to the internet you can do that with this kind of technology and even if you think that everyone has an access to it i tell you not no no it is it isn't it's it just isn't okay that's a tendency bias so yeah for us to do that we just need to be able to adapt and then learn more on how on how we can further utilize this okay so again thank you so much for watching i would appreciate guys if you can hit the subscribe button below this video to support my channel for more tips on how to make money online i'll see you guys on the next video